Welcome to another episode of Tech Talk. Please click the like and subscribe buttons below. Need a domain for your website or app backend? Namecheap offers domains starting at 88 cents. Click on the link in the description to get started. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my latest video. Today, I am doing a tutorial on how to set up your Laravel continuous integration using Bitbucket's pipeline system. So, for those of you who are not familiar with continuous integration, it's basically steps and uh, processes that enable, that help you ensure that your code that you push, push to production is bug free, you know, all the features are working, it's uh, um, tested and, tr and tried. So you can use tools such as Jenkins or Circle CI. Um, there's a whole host of CI CD tools. One of the other ones that you can use that doesn't require any additional software is using Bitbucket's pipeline system. So I'm here on Bitbucket and I'm on one of my uh, applications, Black and Cloud. And uh, here you see you have a pipelines and deployments uh, tab. Uh, you go to pipelines when you ready to put, when you are ready to um, add a new pipeline to your uh, CI integration to your code. Uh, you're going to click on master. You're going to go make sure it's on your master branch. Um, when creating a new pipeline, this screen is will have is going to have a walkthrough where you click on it and uh, you it'll generate a YAML file. This YAML file will be called bitbucket-pipelines.yaml. And in this YAML file, you're going to be setting a doc, your Docker image that's going to set the environment um, for your test. In this, we're going to be using the uh, Loris Leva Laravel Docker image, um, which is going to include all the things that you need in order for um, in order to run your Laravel installations, and then you're going to set up your pipelines. Um, you got under and everything under pipelines is going to be your um, your your pipelines, your Bitbucket pipeline, your scripts. So here we have a branches um, tag. Underneath we have master. So basically, we're saying on the master branch, only run on these branches, and the only branch we have is the master branch right here. And then we're going to run this first step. We're going to set our cache for our composer, which basically after we run composer, is going to cache that. So when we rerun this pipeline, it won't have to re-fetch uh, all the composer dependencies. And then we set our script for this step. So we're going to uh, install Composer, or we're, my bad, we're going to install our Composer dependencies. We're going to copy the .env example file to .env. We're going to generate our um, keys for our environment. We're going to run our migrations. We're going to run passport install because this application requires us to run pass, uh, passport. And then we're going to run uh, the PHP unit test. Uh, it's also going to use the MySQL service, which is down here. We'll get to that in a second. If this step passed, if all these steps pass, there's no errors. Then we're going to go on to the next step. And in this step, we're going to, uh, we're, call, we're giving it a name called Deploy to Prod. We're going to set the deployment for production. And we're going to run an, uh, our Laravel Forge script. So we use Laravel Forge that does all the provisioning and stuff on our production server. So after we run our test in this isolated container, we're going to make the uh, Git request to the server and we know is going to do an exact replication on the production server and we know that everything has been tested. So underneath the pipelines we have our definitions and underneath our definitions we have our services. We only have one service which is our MySQL service which is going to use the MySQL uh, Docker image using 5.7. 
And then we're also going to set our variables. And these are the variables that are set in the .env file. We're going to set the MySQL database, uh, give it a name, random root, random root password, yes. We're going to give it a MySQL user called uh, Homestead and a MySQL password called Secret. And these are uh, grabbed over from the .env.example file. It uses Homestead and Secret as the uh, username and password. So that's this is simple enough. Of course, you know your continuous integration can be as complex as you want it to be, but uh, the simplest is it should run. You know, should build the environment and run the test. With Bitbucket, I think you get. Uh, 50 minutes or 80 minutes. I can't remember. I think it's 50 minutes of free um, continue a free pipeline time. And I believe this script does uh, about, you know, 20 something seconds, almost 30 seconds. So uh, and it resets at the end of the month. So let's run. Let's uh, commit some code. Let's commit some code on the README um, and push it and commit it to master. Where's the README? Oh, I don't have a README. Okay. Let's add a README. Readme.md. Um, to do make a better readme uh, all right make a better readme so we're going to commit this file uh yeah let's create a pull request for this change just to be extra fancy well my goodness. Da, 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 da. Cool. Commit. Great. Cool request. Boom. All right. So notice that we're on a different branch here. Now, before I approve this, let's go over to our uh, deployments. Notice there should, yeah, there's still just one deployment on here. This was done July 13th. And that's because in the deployment script in the pipeline script we have it set that it only does the master branch now let's go back to the pull request uh we're going to do read me we're going to merge merge all right deployments Let's refresh. Start again. Oh, okay. So we have it in progress. So um, the pipeline is running. It's doing the build setup. It's doing composer install. It's installing everything on composer. Now it copied, oh, there we go. It ran Composer, it copied the .env, .example to .env, it ran the artisan key generate, it ran artisan migrate, it ran artisan password install, it ran all of the unit tests, everything passed, no, everything passed, everything passed, everything passed, everything passed, otherwise it'd be red everywhere. And uh, and then afterwards, it tore down the uh, Docker instance. The next step, it deployed the prod, uh, and it pushed to production. As you can see now, this is green. We go over to deployments. There should be two here now. Well, just one, I guess. It, but it, it shows the latest one just now. So we merge the Jerome Parker to the readme, the Jerome Parker slash readme, blah 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 blah, into master. And we did a, a successful continuous integration deployment. So, like I said, 
Um, depending on the complexity of your application, your continuous integration um, scripts are going to be more complex. It might take more time. Uh, you know, depending on the size of the application, the continuous integration could take uh, a script could take you know some minutes. So uh, this is just a good starting point, a good little intro tutorial on getting started using Bitbucket pipelines and continuous integration with Laravel as a whole. I will be doing some more advanced continuous integration and continuous uh, delivery app uh, tutorials in the near future. If you are not subscribed to me on YouTube, please do so. If you do not follow me on Twitter, uh, do so at MasterShake08, M-A-S-T-A-S-H-A-K-E, and have a good day, everyone.